What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a iPhone 7 picture time lapse or an iPhone 7 time lapse or whatever you guys want to call this effect. Honestly, it's not that hard to do. It's actually really easy. I'm going to show you guys how to do this in Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins, without any like photo editing applications such as Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, that kind of stuff even on the website. I'm just going to show you guys how to do everything in Final Cut Pro 10 because that's what I try to aim at without having to download unnecessary stuff. Honestly, you guys can do this all in Final Cut Pro 10. So to do this effect, all you have to do is of course have an iPhone or an Android device. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to be working with a Mac, of course, because Final Cut Pro 10 only works on a Mac. So what you want to go ahead and do first is go onto your desktop, okay? And create a new folder named screenshots or somewhere where you guys can be organized to keep all the pictures together. And on your uh, Mac, you want to go ahead and go look up on the spotlight search image capture and open that application up. Also, you want to unlock your iPhone so you guys can see the pictures. Select all of your pictures, like maybe I want these two, like command click. Import two, it says pictures. What I do is I just click and drag this onto the other, um, in the folder that we've created. We need an actual place to find the mockup or the template. So what I did is I just went to Google and I looked up the iPhone 7 Plus mockup. And if you click on this, uh, it looks like a rose pink or rose gold or a gold iPhone 7. To save that image, you actually have to save it for it to work. So right click, save image as, and it will save it as a PNG. And I also got this effect or this inspiration from this video. It's called 1997, the birth of the camera phone. And this is something that you would find this effect in, like something like in this kind of short film would be something you'd see it in. So you can see that they're taking pictures, you, they take a picture, and then this is the effect that I wanna show you guys how to do, of course, just a little bit differently. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Final Cut Pro 10. So once you're in Final Cut Pro 10 and you have the pictures saved into your screenshots folder, import them into Final Cut Cup Pro as you can see here and I'm also going to delete this and show you guys how to do this from scratch. I am going to copy this though and delete everything else. So what you want to go ahead and do is select, just click on each of the screenshots and what this will do is it will just kind of select a small portion of it and then all you got to do is honestly just highlight everything and then just drag this onto the timeline and do that with the screenshots. So drag this and zoom out. It's going to say the video properties of this clip are not recognized. Just click OK and everything should be fine anyways. Now don't be worried about the time. I know it says two minutes but we're going to be making this a lot shorter. What I'm going to go ahead and do is of course make a uh, compound clip. So to do that it just nests all of the clips together. So it pretty much groups them all together. So go to a uh, new compound clip once you right click on any of the pictures and then from here go ahead and give it a name I'm just gonna name this iPhone 7 in the cinemagraphs event and from here it's gonna look as just one file but what you guys can do is if you double click on this it will open up this kind of like folder and this is where you can go ahead and continue editing on individual pictures so I want these two actually I want these three to go in the end so I'm going to select these three and move them to the end. This is the cool thing about this. So I'm going to move this like to the end here. There we go. And so it's going to go from the newest to the oldest. These are old as well. Let me see. These three are old. So I'm going to move that like around here maybe. So once you're pretty much good and you have all the pictures that you want here, I'm only I only did a little bit just to show you guys the actual like as an example. But once you're done, click on this little back arrow to get out of that compound clip and then it will take you into this right here. Now, once you're done with this, we need the template. So import the picture. It should be a PNG image with a transparent background. Click and drag that on top of the clip here. And it's going to look like this and don't worry, we'll fix it. So click and drag on the end of that clip here and just fill that up till it lines up with the rest of the compound clip. Now, once you've done this, all we have to do is just click on the iPhone 7 template and we're going to change the actual transparency. I'm going to get rid of this because we don't really need that anymore. Go to the inspector here, the video inspector, and in the blend mode right here. We're going to change that to screen. What you want to go ahead and do from here is select the actual compound clip and we're going to go ahead and just change the dimension. So we're going to click on transform and we're going to make this small. Okay, so it fits in this little window here. But what we want to go ahead and do is just hold alt 
or option and drag this out or just click and drag this out. And what you want to go ahead and do is just kind of fill in the border here so that it's not entirely leaving big thick black lines on the outside. So you want to make sure that you kind of cover that. So if you want to, you can hold down alt or option and this will kind of use an individual side. And I'm also going to change this top part. So something like that would be good. Click on done. And if you want to go ahead and give a preview, click on the full screen. And that looks pretty good. That's actually perfect. So now we have to change the duration. So we want to go ahead and create another compound clip with both of these uh, clips selected. So right click on the on both of the clips here and go to new compound clip. And I'm just going to name this final. And then now we have this going on here. But we want to go ahead and just change the duration of this. So to do that's very simple. Just go on this little timer button here and go to the fast and do eight times or 20 times if you want. So in this case, I think this is a little bit too long. It's 16 seconds. So if we could click on custom and we go to maybe you want 10 seconds exactly, click on the duration here and just change the values here. So it's 10 seconds exactly. And then now this is exactly 10 seconds long. So maybe that's what you want to do. Then you got that going on pretty, pretty good. So now we have everything just how we want it. Now, how do we add that smooth zoom in effect? It's actually a Ken Burns effect. It's very easy. Select the clip, go to the transform option, but we're going to click on the crop. So click on this down arrow and click on crop. And then make sure that the time head is at the beginning of the clip. And first I'm going to go and go to the video inspector with the clip selected and go to the scale all option. And I'm going to make this actually zoomed in a little bit. So that way I can have it zoomed out. But when we play like the video and it kind of finishes towards the end, it's going to zoom out or yeah, it's going to zoom out. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to click on done. And then now we're going to go and click on back on this. And it's going to give you three options, trim, crop, and Ken Burns. Click on the Ken Burns effect here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do the start. It's going to start like this and end here. So what I did is I just went to the, like I, like I said, select the clip, click on this little crop option or the down arrow, click on crop and click on Ken Burns. Now, depending on how you want this to start, you can also reverse this. So instead of starting big, you're starting out small and it will zoom in into the actual iPhone. In this case, I don't want it to do that. I want it to do the opposite. So I want it to start in big here. As you can see, it's in this frame and I want it to end with the whole iPhone showing. It's going to look like this. And if I go ahead and push play, it's gonna it's gonna slowly zoom out, and the reason I like the Ken Burns effect is because no matter how you like, if you change the duration, it will automatically adjust to that duration. So if I were to go like, I want it to even go maybe five seconds, it's actually gonna go ahead and change automatically without you having to go back and change the values. So that is a really cool feature that I like, and so just play around with the values. Honestly, all you have to do from here is just import the music. So I luckily just go went ahead and copied it so I didn't have to do this over again. So now when we are finished, we're going to have something that will look and sound like this. So if you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down below for any other video ideas, turn on post notifications, that'd be awesome guys, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.